Today we will be crocheting an adorable springtime coffee cup cozy. Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura. Today we're going to learn how to make this adorable little coffee cup cozy. It's perfect for springtime or a great little Easter basket gift. The materials you'll need are a ruler, a five millimeter H crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, a smaller needle to sew on your button, buttons of course, and of course you'll need some yarn. This is a cotton and acrylic blend and it's ice cream yarns from Hobby Lobby in the color rainbow and that's what I'm going to be using today. I also like to use 100% uh, cotton yarn and this is, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. It works up really well. Let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start this project with a slip knot and we are going to make about 30 chains. Now when I do 30 chains, I get to about eight and a half inches and that is the length that you'll need to go around a standard coffee cup like this. So you might just want to play around with your number of chains and make sure that you've got the number right because it also depends on your um, tension when you're crocheting and the type of yarn you have. So I'm gonna chain 30 to Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we can measure our chains and we can see that once we stretch it a little bit, it does end up to be about eight and a half inches with 30 chains, at least with this yarn it does. So then we are going to single crochet all the way down, starting in the next chain from the hook. All you're going to do is just stick your hook in there, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then grab your yarn and pull it through those two loops. And we are going to work one single crochet all the way down the row of chains. When you're done, you should have 29 single crochet. This is a very nice base to the rest of your stitches. And we're just gonna keep working these one at a time until we get to the end. And I'll meet you when we get back. We have one last stitch to go. So we'll do our last single crochet in that stitch and then chain two, turn the work. And then we're going to work a half double crochet right here. So you yarn over, stick the hook in, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn it over, and then you pull it through these last three loops. We're going to work half double crochets all the way down in every stitch. This is a nice stitch for this uh, coffee cup cozy. So just keep working your half double crochets all the way down until you get to the end. And I will meet you there. We are at the very last stitch, so we're going to do our last half double. And then we're going to chain two, turn the work, and then we're going to work half doubles all the way back down, chaining two at the end of each row until our piece is three to three and a half inches wide. This is very simple to do. A great beginner project. Okay, we're almost to the end of that second row. I just wanted to show you again how to end the row. So you're gonna do a half double in the very last stitch here. And then chain two, turn your work. Just keep continuing on and I'll meet you back when we have completed our three and a half inches. OK, 
Okay, now we are at the very last stitch of our last half double. I've measured my piece here and we are just a little bit over three inches. So I'm gonna do my last half double. And then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And then I'm going to work a row of single crochet all the way down to the end. And that will give you a nice finished edge. So I will meet you at the end after I finish my row of single crochet. Now I've reached the end of my single crochet row. I'm just going to do the last stitch here. Then I'm going to chain one to secure that stitch. And I'm going to cut enough yarn to be able to sew across. So you go ahead and pull that through, secure that knot. You're going to take your needle, thread it with your yarn. Okay, then I like to take the right sides and put them together and I sew the wrong sides with, on the outside. So then I'm just going to take my needle my thread here and just go up in the corner and we're just going to I think this is called a basting stitch I'm not really sure just going over each stitch and just trying to make it as even as you can I'm not a professional sewer so I am not guaranteeing how great this is going to look but this is going to be on the inside so you just work your way all the way down Just pick up your stitches. Make sure you have enough stitches on your needle while you're sewing them through. You don't have to be perfect at this, but you want it to be even and you wanna make sure that it, it's secure. I've really been enjoying making these coffee cozies. These are great for craft shows. I see, you know, you can sell them for anywhere from like $5 if they're not really embellished or if they're just real simple. And I've seen them go for as much as $10, $12. And it depends on the area that you um, are selling. You know, the economy where you live kind of determines how much you can charge. This is a really quick, easy gift. You can, uh, have these done in probably a half an hour you could do one maybe even faster if you're a quick crocheter okay I'm at the end I want to make sure that I've got both sides grabbed by the needle and then I'm going to pull through make a knot pull through I'm gonna make another knot Then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to weave this in just a little bit, just to secure it and pull it through. And I'll clip that. And then the extra yarn that's hanging down from when we first started, I'm going to thread that on my needle and weave that in as well. So there's no ex no strings hanging down anywhere. Just like that. And then we'll cut that and then turn it right side out. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's find a button that we think looks good. I don't know, let's see. That one, no. 
that's cute, but I think it might be a little too big. I think I'm gonna go with the pink one today. So just take a piece of yarn and cut it. And you're going to use your smaller needle because you want to be able to stick it through the button. So I like to find the seam and put it in the middle and then flip it over and that's where I'll place my button. That looks cute. And then you're going to come up from behind the button like this and then come back down. Like I said, I'm not a professional sewer, so <laughs> this, is, this is the best you're gonna get. Okay, so turn this inside out and tie these two strings into a couple of knots, nice and tight to secure the button. And let's cut those extra strings a little bit. And there you go. Didn't that turn out cute? I just love these and I hope you enjoyed it too. It was so pretty. Here are some different coffee cup cozies that I've been making. These are all different patterns and these are made with acrylic yarn except for this one. And um, I think they turned out really cute and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and click the notification bell. I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching Crojo Corner.